at the mercy of Mother Nature right now. That can be scary. I know there are other people out here somewhere. I want food. The Everest of survival challenges ah! is back. Ah! Bigger. Whatever we find, we're killing it. Yeah! Tougher. Ah! And more extreme than ever. Look at the size. I'd be lying if I say I wasn't concerned. Get back, get back. Go. 12 elite survivalists will embark on the fight of their lives. Just the worst possible day could do this. These six men and six women have already proven their skills. Surviving naked and afraid for 21 days in the harshest places on Earth. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby! Now. How cold and walking place in the middle of the night. In one of the most demanding physical challenges ever conceived. My body is just breaking down. They will have to try to stay alive for 40 days and 40 nights. He just passed out. With no food. That was a good meal. No water. Oh, please, Lord. And no clothes. I'm getting eaten alive by ants. Not only will they have to survive, but thrive. I don't think I could do it. Their nemesis, the Badlands of Colombia, where resources are scarce, the predators are deadly, and the temperatures are brutal. Calves and my arms are like cramping. Now we reveal unique insights into the challenge of a lifetime. I no longer feel safe around Chris. With special sneak previews, we take an in-depth look at the survivalists. He's not stable. We have about a day or two before I start snapping. Don't be me. How they prepared. And why they want to attempt the impossible. So hot out today. In the deadly wilderness of Colombia. Naked and Afraid, XL. Tonight, baby! They said it couldn't be done in Columbia! Sometimes I definitely think I'm crazy for coming out here. 40 days is a long time. And you're like, okay, I did 21 before. Now we're doubling that. These survivalists are heading through Colombia's vast Orinoco River Basin to different insertion points where they will start their 40-day challenge. I think in 40 days, I'm going to find something in myself that I never knew I had before. This violent landscape, marked by treacherous swamps, dense jungles, and sweltering savannas, is dominated by swarms of biting insects, the world's largest variety of venomous snakes, and apex predators that lurk in the shadows. For the next 40 days, this hellhole is going to provide the ultimate test for these veterans of Naked and Afraid. The 40-day challenge is past the maximum point of what a human body can handle. People start to die after three weeks. And it's harsh, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be the hardest thing that I ever do in my life. I'm a proud guy, I'm competitive, and I just wanna see what I got. Instead of pairing up with a partner of the opposite sex, as they did in Naked and Afraid, these survivalists will form groups of threes, so they will have to tame complex social dynamics, as well as the hostile wilderness. I'm feeling very attacked. You've been bitching for an hour! It's the other, the human element that makes me most nervous right now. People scare me a lot more than anything I'm gonna find out here. In week four and five and halfway through six, we're gonna wanna kill each other and the things people are capable of doing to each other, that's what I'm scared of. Dropped into four distinct ecosystems spread over a 20 square mile area, each group of three survivalists will face different tests in their fight to survive. This is what we're gonna set up. The unforgiving terrain will test the first group, made up of a Texas ranch girl, an animal-loving vegetarian, and a man with a chip on his shoulder. They must find a way to balance their wildly divergent styles to survive 40 days without food, clothes, or water. I'm saying we don't need your help. OK, then this conversation is over. 
The biggest thought I have in my head right now is, what am I doing here? I'm Alana, I'm a makeup artist from Houston, Texas. As long as they haven't made spores yet, these are delicious. I was raised in a rural environment. Survival for me is just the ultimate form of independence. I'm feeling really lightheaded. I learned in Fiji that you can plan for everything, but none of that can necessarily happen. Keith is not doing too great. May have had a seizure. Medic's on his way. Check him out. When her partner is evacuated after having a seizure, Alana becomes the first female to reach day 21 of her survival challenge alone. It's just another challenge. The top of that big hill. That's my ticket out of here. 21 days was not quite enough for me. Ow. For a 40-day challenge, I am definitely anxious. I know there's gonna be a lot of difficulty. Alana and her group will be inserted at El Bosque, a dense tropical woodland sandwiched between two small rivers. Disease-carrying insects and the world's greatest variety of venomous snakes inhabit the area. Do you think a vegetarian could survive out here? Not a chance in hell. Are you a vegetarian? You are! Yep. <laughs> For the steadfast vegetarian, finding food will make survival doubly challenging. What is out here for me to eat? My name's Danielle, I'm 25 years old. I'm currently living in Medford, New Jersey, and I work as a wilderness EMT. I became a survivalist because I've always been infatuated with nature. It's just a personal hobby of mine. The last time I was in Colombia, the weather was a lot different. It was a different season. Oh, that one just blew up. That's a good one. Isn't that like cooking them alive? It's not like cooking them alive. It is cooking them alive. My biggest worry was killing animals and consuming them. Oh, he's moving. Snails don't have feelings. I've been a vegetarian since I was three years old. I feel like everything is equal and everything deserves that respect, especially if you're taking its life. I'm kind of torn right now. There was times where I was just mentally faced with thoughts of having to kill this animal. I brought this back for you. This is a lot of protein right here for me. I mean, it's a push. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to find a way to stay vegetarian for the 21 days, and I know this time around, 40 days is going to be a lot different. We're pretty close to it. Completing the group, the lone male who has strong opinions and a short fuse. Oh, it's right on him, too. This is how you stalk an animal. <sighs> we have about a day or two before I start snapping at them. My name is Shane Lewis. I live in Connecticut on the east coast of the States. I am pushing my limits all the time. And I rock climb, ice climb, skydive, scuba dive, snowboard, surf all over the world. It's all about speed and how big your balls are. Oh. His poison is everywhere. He is pissed. I call myself the alpha male, not a alpha male. My parents kicked me out of the house when I was six years old. What? I spent 13 years in five foster homes and four institutions. Wow. Are you OK? I'm a very raw and intense human being. I don't care if anyone likes me or doesn't like me. The 22-year-old person doesn't give a by anything unless it revolves around her. That's just been the way it's been since I was a kid. That's what happens when you grow up without parents. The canopy's leaking. You gotta go out there and cut some trees to put on top of the canopy to try to cut the rain down. My first survival experience was very difficult. Some of the things that I learned in Costa Rica, I didn't build a 100% secure canopy and lodge, and I paid the price for that because I had to make it two more times. Shane! Shane, where are you? Get out of the shelter, Shane! <laughs> the 21-day challenge, the relationships were not as critical as they are for this one. 
we're gonna wanna kill each other. And I think the only thing that's gonna prevent us from going at each other is the fact that I actually like you. Kim, I can't go any further. I physically cannot go any further. I am not 100% confident that I will make this 40-day challenge. It's fear that makes me humbled and respect the place that I'm in. Every survivalist has proven their worth on the 21-day challenge. This is like testing the limits of my everything. Their primitive survival ratings, or PSRs, rank them all as expert-level survivalists. With 40 days, they face a new challenge, sustaining a primitive existence as a group. We need to hydrate. Just give me a second. It's a Just... sauna in here. Based on the combined skill of their members, all trios will receive a Naked and Afraid XL rating, or XLR, which takes into account not only experience and mental toughness, but also the ability to work together and adapt to unstable social dynamics. I'm saying we don't need your help. I have been trying to be supportive. The jungle doesn't give it to you. You have to earn everything. On his previous challenge, Shane survived the deadly jungle of Costa Rica, but his intolerance toward his partner hurt them both. It's not easy, but I know that you need it. Danielle overcame a bossy alpha male in Colombia, but her committed vegetarianism meant she rarely acquired sufficient protein. No one's gonna be watching my back. It's all up to me. Alana was the first female to make it to day 21 alone, but she clashed repeatedly with her partner. These three will enter the challenge with a combined XL rating, or XLR, of 7.6. So I can see why Alana made it through her last challenge. She had the guy build everything for her, and he got burnt out, and he tapped out, and she sat there and did nothing. I think you're lazy. Survival has to be lazy. I work smart. That's fine. Well, you know, now you can earn it. Oh, damn, it is hot. It sure is. <sighs> Gotta get some water. I know, man. I'm feeling you. On Naked and Afraid XL, a team of three alpha males will test their skills in the wilds of Colombia. So as a soldier, the highest point in the area is the best place to get a vantage point. The trio boasts a highly decorated combat veteran and two-time survivor of Naked and Afraid. Empathy in the spectrum of a ninja is uh, very important. A ninja warrior. Yes! and a big game hunter with a passion for his sport. These men are out to prove who will lead and who will follow during 40 long days and nights without food, water, or clothes in the cruelest landscape on Earth. These alpha males will be inserted at a mammoth basalt outcropping called Roca Diablo. Here, the volcanic rock radiates heat and blocks the breeze, making this the hottest part of the savanna. For this ex-soldier, the Naked and Afraid XL Challenge is the culmination of decades of training. This is the way to go. Dugout canoe, paddling my way in, just like a ranger on another mission. I'm EJ. I'm an independent contractor, and I teach survival to future Green Berets and other soldiers. It's out. Tanzania is the most unforgiving place on the planet we don't find water within the next two hours, we're gonna have to come up with a B plan, and uh, I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't lend itself to resources very easily. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Ah. Every step is like someone's got pink cushions in the wrong direction going right up through your foot. Ah. I grew so much as a man, as a survivalist, it tested every fiber within me. Uh, that's really killing me. Uh, you all right? No. Oh, it looks terrible. If that starts going up your leg, man, you're seeing trouble. There has been a low point that you have to push through. My foot was less than an hour out of getting a septicemia in my bloodstream. Ah! Ah! For me to say, hey, I'm out of here, nuh-uh. I would have dragged myself to the finish line without a foot if I had to. Surrender's not in my vocabulary, because when I start something, I don't quit. So when I got a second chance to go again, I was like, what I learned from that time, and here we go to Peru in the Amazon. Oh, God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
God. Why? Oh. Why? 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 Come on, Ethan! Right here, go, go! Great individuals are tested, and you know they're great when they rise to the occasion and they stand tall and they push through it. Yeah! Though the challenge is yet to begin, every moment is valuable preparation for the Ninja Warrior. I'm just looking at my surroundings. I'm just trying to stay prepared. My name is Hakeem. I run a martial arts school in North Carolina. I have fire skills, shelter building skills. I don't have many doubts. I was in Jagishwar, India in my previous experience. I really don't feel like you care about me at all. I think okay. that what's happening is that you're like some sort of princess and you just used oh to have Did you just say yes, I'm some I sort did. of princess? I did, and I'm sorry. Don't talk to me. The worst thing for me to deal with was my partner genuinely believed that I did not have any uh, care for her at all. You never know how you're going to react. Things change, you, you change as the environment changes. The way that I acted is totally inappropriate, so I'm sorry. Awesome. Well, thank you. I'm sorry, too. Me and my partner had some conflict, but we came together, and we were able to pull through at the end. Challenges like this really change your perspective as a human being, and if I have it in me to make it 40 days, I'm going to make it 40 days. At Roca Diablo, the all-male team will face dangers from venomous snakes and other deadly predators, but the big game hunter of the crew sees big opportunity. Well, I'm sure people think I'm nuts, you know? They're wondering why I'd want to do this again. Um, I just want to push the envelope. My name is Jeff, and I'm from Pocatello, Idaho. We're getting ready to go on a hike. That's a big bear. When I was young, I made a lot of choices that put me in dangerous situations. You got yourself a rattlesnake. There you go. And I loved it. I'm thirsty. <sighs> Madagascar was hot. It was brutal hot. But the nights were just as brutally cold. What is with this stuff? It doesn't want to ignite. Look at this darling little nest over here. We can take it to start a fire. I'd rather leave them. Would a... you? Yeah, we don't need to like rape and pillage on the first day. You know, I have no problem killing what we see if I'm in a survival situation. When I first met Eva, it was clear that we had our differences. Since it's your first kill, I'm going to let you make the first cut here. You're going to let me make the first I'm cut? Let you oh, make the Jeff, first that's so kind. Cut. But throughout the 21 day challenge, we really learned to work together. And we became great friends. Yeah, baby! Oh my God! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! I know I come off as very confident and cocky sometimes. My dear father in heaven. But the truth is, in my mind, I'm relying on my Heavenly Father for just about everything I do. We're running completely on empty. Our bodies have absolutely no energy right now. This is really difficult. Ugh. There's a lizard. Oh, get out of there! When I get you out of here, I'm gonna kill you. He knows that I am the apex predator. Come on. Yeah! Woo! Oh! Oh! Take that, Madagascar! Yeah! Part of my heart still is in Madagascar. Oh, God. Die, Black Widows. Die. Jeff's determination in Madagascar helped him survive, but his alpha dog personality could clash with his partners. Empathy in the spectrum of a ninja is uh, very important. Hakim's enduring philosophy was a great benefit in India. His skills and ninjanuity will be a huge help to the group. Look at that. That's dinner. A veteran of two challenges, EJ has notched the highest PSR of any male on Naked and Afraid. Together, this group of alpha males will start with an XLR of 7.9.
For the alpha males at Ruka Diablo, survival comes down to one thing. Those who dare win. Dude, what, bro? F deal! Let me get the fishing hook. It's a big one. Here, Mr. Eel. You don't want to tangle with the electric eel in the water. Send 500 volts in your system. That's as good as a death sentence. But this is survival. All right, he's cutting in. You gotta get him right behind the head. Got him. Nice. Woo! Nice! Woo! You good? Yeah, I felt the, I felt the electric. Oh! Dude, Eva, you ready for some lunch? I took a big fat one right off the top. Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. The Badlands of Columbia will be a proving ground as three independent females show who's really the stronger sex. I can't believe that we have three badass women that are going to be doing this challenge together. Do you have a mosquito net? So, yeah. Awesome. Great. It's going to be some serious chick power. So I brought a Bodril kit. Awesome. Totally. Each person will bring only a knife and a single survival item. A small crew will capture the 40-day journey with clear instruction not to intervene unless there is a medical emergency. The team is made up of an extreme rock climber with a high tolerance for pain. Seriously covered in bug bites, and they're just sitting there, like, chewing on me. An up-and-coming survivalist with an instinct for the hunt. Well, apparently I didn't need a hook. And the only woman who is a two-time veteran of Naked and Afraid. So I've done this twice now. 21 days on two separate occasions in two different locations. On her third Naked Challenge, this veteran isn't planning on merely surviving. By the time I leave here, I want to have figured out this land. I want this land to feel like home. My name is Laura. I am a survivalist from Groton, New Hampshire. I was always really drawn to wild places, and I thought I was kind of a weirdo because I liked getting out there and experiencing the land in different ways than most people. I got all this sinew. I love coming out here and feeling like I'm a human animal again. I'm doing exactly what I was meant to do, and I'm existing where I was meant to exist. And I'm really hoping there's some lobster in that trap. My wishes were answered, and I got a lobster. Oh my gosh, there's two! That's awesome. I cannot wait to share Clint and let him know that the ocean is not a waste, and there's tons of food out here, and we're gonna eat really good. The experiences I've had out here me. have been really challenging. Testing the limits of my everything. You get in trouble when you come out here and you just think that you're going to kick everything's ass and you're just the best at this and there's nothing that's going to put you down. Excuse me, Mr. Eel. Do you mind if I take this stick and shove it up your brain cranium so that I can eat you tonight? I think the Eel, he just gave his life for you. That's something you say thank you for. That's not something you say you for. My previous survival experiences have taught me that even though I'm kind of a loner by nature, I learned the value of coming out and working with a partner and being able to see twice the return for the work that you put in because you have someone there that has the same goal as you. Well deserved to the Well eel. earned teamwork. I think embracing the fact that you're going to come across challenges and you're going to be have the humbled right out of you. It will knock you on the ground, and you have to be able to stand back up, but also really rewarding. Oh, man, we're glad to see you. I think finishing both times was probably two of the best moments of my life, and it's almost this adrenaline high that I'm seeking again to get out there and be in that moment. I definitely think I'm crazy for coming out here for 40 days. 40 days is, is a whole league of its own. If 21 days is the Everest of all challenges, this is like going to the moon. The all-female team will be inserted at Rio Negro, an arid savanna scrubland with scant resources and soaring temperatures. Just six degrees from the equator, the UV radiation here is among the highest on Earth. 
the Colombian heat can severely dehydrate the human body in mere hours. 40 days is gonna be crazy. There's no safety net, there's no padding, there's no do-overs. Can't imagine that I've ever done anything harder than this before. The second member of the all-female team comes in well-prepared for the vicious temperatures. My name is Eva, I'm from Flagstaff, Arizona. I've always operated under the pretense that I am tougher than anyone else. Previously, I was in Madagascar. It's really dry, it's really hot. This is nuts. You have to relate to your environment in a way that you never have before and learn to work with the environment, not to come in and try and conquer it because it will get you. Oh my God, it's like a whole freaking it's like a Black Widow nursery back there. It is, not even joking. If all the babies are back there, that means mama's back there too. My worst day in Madagascar was this day that I just about fainted. Eva, are you okay? They need something to drink immediately. I was totally depleted, totally dehydrated. That was that low moment. That is total dehydration happening right there. My toughness comes from some place inside of me. I don't know where it came from. It's always been there. Jeff, snake. Be careful. Holy oh, It's fuck. huge. That's a boa. That a girl! It's until I put myself in these places where I'm raw and exposed, that's when I come alive. Ladies first. Oh, oh my god, it's like amazing. I feel like after 21 days in Madagascar, I left feeling skinny and hungry, but I left feeling really strong and really proud of myself and everything that we accomplished as a team. Get this is out. it! Get out! Woo! Madagascar! 21 days wasn't enough. 40 days is a long-term survival situation. At the end of 40 days, it shouldn't matter if you're getting picked up on day 40 or day 140. An up-and-coming survivalist, the third member of the power trio, is out to prove she belongs with the best of the best. It's thick, jungly, but gorgeous nonetheless. My name is Danny Julian. I'm from Santa Cruz, California, and I'm an adventure guide. I don't do this for a living, but it doesn't mean that I can't hack it. In 2008, I was volunteering abroad in Tanzania, and my house was broken into. I hid, but my roommate did not. To make the long story very short, I came out alive and he did not. Holy Traditional therapy was not working. Right. So we decided that some wilderness therapy might be effective. And that's what started my interest in this kind of stuff. My last survival experience was pretty hard. Yes, Justin, I got a fish! Ah! But incredibly empowering. Not bad for a chick with a pointy stick. I'm supposed to be the one hunt. And Pocahontas here. She ended up sticking a fish, a uh, snapper. Good for her. I feel bad, but I don't. Justin wants so badly to be the provider, but it seems that his primitive hunting skill set is not up to par. I went out and I did this. I did this. I'm proud of myself. Ultimately, it was successful. This is going to be the bottom of my shoe, not necessarily the sole. The sole is going to take a little bit longer. I came out of that feeling really confident with myself and with my skills. Yeah! <laughs> I got a crab! <laughs> you. I got you, you little <laughs> One crab, whatever. I like to repeat some level of that success in this next challenge. I might not make it. I might not be able to do it this time. If I had to give myself advice, it would be, it's okay to cry, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be bummed out, but it's not okay to cry, be sad, and be bummed out the whole time. I feel like a man. Danny's no-nonsense approach caused friction with her partner, but her tenacity pulled her through. There's food just sitting in the ocean. As a veteran of two challenges, Laura is the most decorated female survivalist. Her loner mentality, however, could destabilize the trio. Don't take it until you need it. You know what I mean? We don't need this right now. Eva's stubbornness in Madagascar frustrated her partner. 
but her skill set will contribute to the group's success. The combination of skills and personalities mean they will head into their challenge with an XL rating of 8.2. Surviving in the scrubland of Rio Negro will be a fight for resources with nature itself. And it will test if these three strong-willed women can survive together for 40 brutal days. Badass. Very nice. Woo! I caught another lizard. He's not much, but he's more than we have, so. He's got worms. You guys don't care, right? It's extra protein. We don't have enough food to sustain three of us. All right, so let's make a plan here. I think we get in this way to block off the deep water. And push them this way? And push them that way. I think we can get them into the shallows. Oh, 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 right here, right here. He's right there, he surfaced. There's his fin, there's his fin. I want to just keep a bigger barrier so he can't swim past me. I kind of use my body as a shield. The water's so muddy the eel can slip right past us, and so I'm kind of like, all right, well, I have this corner, he's right in front of me. This is the dumbest I've ever done in my life. Well, no fruit, but a whole lot more battle scars. You see that like nub where it kind of meets the, the fruit tree? You might be willing to shimmy up to that nub. I mean, if you fail, you're done with this challenge and you're definitely in the hospital. In the most remote part of Colombia, one woman seeks redemption amongst two confident men in the toughest survival challenge ever attempted. Mental toughness is definitely my strength. I'm a marine vet, I'm a commercial fisherman pretty confident around water. The last group is composed of an ex-marine. I might do some yoga. The best time to start is right now when you're stuck with the hippie in the woods. Down, kind of keeping your back straight. Breath into your ribs. And a wilderness therapist. I like working with plants. I'm an herbalist back at home. They'll join forces with one woman who has come back to prove she won't tap out again. Stay calm. <laughs> I don't want to psych myself out. My name is Anora, and I am a massage therapist and an herbalist. I've pretty much been a survivalist since I was a teenager. I developed an eating disorder and almost killed me. So I know that if I can find just like a little bit of food, that I can survive. The hardest thing about Brazil was that we were dealing with total starvation. We were eating like 50 calories a day. Yeah, I'll eat that. Amazing, some protein. Finding some coconuts would really restore some hope, you know? It would be the electrolytes that I need. There's so much to do. I only found a small handful of coconuts the whole time we were there. This is the best thing I've ever had in my life. My partner and I had some differences. I'm not the fat kid here. It smells like We're biologically predisposed to each other because day one, I noticed that stank, dude. Like, you stink. You're stupid. And you're lazy. So I'm over it. I think we had problems communicating more than anything. Basically, we're not getting along, and we agreed to divvy up our building materials. So you can keep everything. I'm keeping the palms, since you carried up only one. Dude, you're so delusional. All right, go ahead and tell yourself that. It ended up leading to me overexerting myself. I need salt, and I need sugar. I need potassium. This place is not conducive to surviving. <laughs> to the point where I basically um, blacked out. Can you squeeze my hand? Can we get her back over here now? She's not responding. You see? Laura. Nora. Laura. 
Nora, can you hear me? Can you ask, say something to us, please? Let's go. That's okay. We're just trying to get her to the hospital as fast as we can. The hospital's in town. I've got a Nora uh, unconscious in my lap. <laughs> I'm just happy to be alive. I really want to thrive this time. I want to, I want to make it to the end. I feel like I can apply that experience and this time I feel like I have the chance to kind of redeem myself. Honora and her teammates will be inserted at Cano Verde, a marshy jungle swampland. It's prime territory for the country's most notorious snake. Reaching 30 feet in length and weighing up to 500 pounds, the green anaconda hunts at water's edge, waiting for unsuspecting prey it can crush with its powerful coils. For the wilderness therapist, the key to success is a healthy dose of humility. Very intense to jump into something like this, but you signed up for 40 days. It's hard to fathom how much time that is. My name is Luke McLaughlin. I currently live in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I am a wilderness field guide. Here we go, we have flames. I think the largest misconception people have about me is that I'm this hippie. In high school, I was the captain of three varsity sports teams. I've always tried to put myself in a leadership role. We're not just like unpleasant, like, oh, I wish, like, cold, like you're shaking the whole time. For my first survival challenge, the toughest thing Hands down, no question, were the nights in Namibia, and it was just miserable. Cordage is breaking. Who needs sinew when you have hair? Hair <laughs> <laughs> every time. My previous survival experience definitely changed me. You know, for me, some, some anger came up. How the f is that not a call? I love the fact that, you know, whatever you throw at nature, it bounces right back at you. My gut's been telling me to try sage on sage today because it's really hardwood. You know, hopefully that works. <laughs> we have fire. Oh my God. Being out in the wilderness for 21 days, it really exposed some of that and helped me kind of work through it. It's really awesome. I tried for days and days and days, you know, and this is sort of my thing. And I guess it was my ego that was, you know, making me think I should do better and making me feel terrible and a lot of guilt and shame. This is my church, this is my divinity. For me, it's, it's not about bending mother nature to your will. Um, you know, it, it's about finding harmony with it as much as you can. 21 days was pretty trying. You know, it's mentally straining. 40 days is definitely gonna be obviously twice the amount of time. So 40 day challenge, you know, you're gonna have to dig a little deeper and really find out what you're made of. My name is Chris, I'm a commercial fisherman. I'm from Cape May, New Jersey. Plenty of room for two naked people. <laughs> some people run marathons, some people do Ironmans. Surviving's my deal. 21 days is a lot. Personally, uh, I think the worst trait you can have in a partner is weak-minded. Weak-minded is a cancer. We are away. We're away from everybody. Except for each other. I'm that bad? I know girls that would kill to be on an island with me for 21 days. When I was in Dominica, I had a partner that uh, I don't think she was really aware of what the uh, survival challenge uh, entailed. I can't hold the bow, hold the bottom, and spindle it all myself. I think you're strong enough to do the whole thing. It's not get, a matter of strength. In, it's a it matter. It's, it's, no, it's just awkward. I'm not going to burn myself out just so someone else can make it. I hate being on this island with him. I want to get the away from him. I'm so pissed off right now. I just feel like smashing his camera. I would never leave someone behind. It's just unacceptable. You know, you're a team, you never leave someone out to dry. If it came down to it, I have no problem surviving by myself. In Dominica, I did the last days by myself. <laughs> oh, I baby smoke. Oh, I... My last experience was humbling in the fact that, you know, I went in with a pretty cavalier attitude. I was just a little cocky and saying that, oh, I'll have fire in an hour. Yes! Hey! Where it took 12 days. Whew! You don't even know. I was confident in my skill set, but maybe just a little too confident. With this next 40 days of survival out, you're actually gonna have to dig a little deeper. It's gonna be extreme weight loss. It's definitely gonna wear you thin. 
you know, I did the last challenge for my father, you know, just to make him proud. And, uh, you know, I don't think I have anything to prove to anybody but myself, so I'm just going to do this for me and just to see what I'm made of. Yep, bummer, man. She couldn't hack it because there wasn't enough food. After Chris lost his partner on day 13, it was his determination that got him through his challenge. Universe, help me. Help me, please. Honora's recklessness required a medical evacuation in Brazil. She'll have to modify her approach to last 40 days. It sticks now. <laughs> we have fire. In Namibia, Luke earned his elite status in the African wastelands, but his ego sometimes got in the way. They will start with an XLR of 7.8. Burning the Hey, that's mine. I'm not gonna let you Give that back to me, it's mine. You got your knife. You throw that knife in the water and I guarantee you're gonna have a serious problem. Her true colors came out to shine and she wants to call herself a survivalist when she knows we're gonna be here for a 40 day challenge just trying to sabotage us. This is some bull. If this happened on the street, somebody would've got their ass whooped. Naked and afraid veterans are about to begin the most difficult survival challenge ever attempted. Forty days is an immense challenge in itself. And so much crap in the jungle has thorns on it. Everything in the jungle wants to bite you. If you do not have anything left on day 21, and then you have to stay for another 20 days, you're going to be in pretty rough shape. Nothing, right? Boys, we're in hell now. Something's not right. I might have got stung by a scorpion, I'm not sure. This could get wild. We're on full alert. You need to get your blades by that tree branch. I see it. Big cat just tried to come in here. Holy, look at that. Oh, geez, he's big. Whatever is making this paw print, man, is what's stalking us at night. This is a survival challenge. You die or you survive. 